So at the request of a couple of ex-students here uh, that have a CASI coming up soon, they wanted me to show them a little bit about parabolas. And uh, there's, again, there's always the official way that math teachers teach you how to do a parabola or any other type of problem. And then there's certain shortcuts. And so today, my attempt here is to kind of show you, uh, show you both the way the teachers teach you and then just a little shortcut that that might help you during the exam. Um, these are two again two questions directly out of the uh, CDE website. This is the CASI release test questions. So uh, number 88 here says which of the following is the graph of and then they give you a parabolic equation. Okay you know it's parabolic because it has x squared. Okay meaning it's either going to be a u upside down u or right side up you. So let's go ahead and begin with that one, number 88. So um, the official way, this is what uh, you, you might see in a classroom. They would want you to uh, take the equation they give you and begin substituting in uh, given points. So um, all of these go through the origin. So you don't want to pick something like 0 comma 0 because that's uh, it's going to work for all of them. You want to pick a point that is relevant to say uh, this guy here. So let's pick this point. This would be 2 comma 1. That is the point that intersects the parabola right there. Uh, x is 2 and y is 1. You would take that and then substitute it in for x and then substitute it in for y. Uh, let's say for example here we said 2. I'm just going to go ahead and plug that in and then y was 1. So I get 2 squared, which is 4, times 1 fourth equals 1. Um, 4 is the same thing as 4 over 1. I'm going to go ahead and cross cancel here. Uh, 4 cross cancels with 4. You end up with 1 over 1, which is 1. And 1 does equal 1, so you know that that works. Um, so your answer is going to be 8 because this you chose a point it satisfied this uh, the only thing is that you need to know um, that it's parabolic because look this point here um, might be you know say this line went through here okay that still satisfied that would be the same point and it would still work but you need to know it's parabolic because it's x squared so automatically we would eliminate c and d b is parabolic also um, so let's go ahead and pick a point here, and let's let's test to see if this works. Uh, so let me go ahead and uh, erase here. The same equation, right? Uh, y equals one fourth x squared. Uh, this time I'm going to go ahead and plug in my new point. Uh, the new point in this case would be two comma negative one. Okay, that's that guy right there. So again, plug in. 2 in for x and plug in negative 1 in for y. Uh, the rest of this I'm just going to bring it down and again 2 squared is 4 over 1 right because that's a fraction also uh, and again we cross cancel and you get 1 equals to negative 1 and that's not true. Negative 1 does not equal 1 therefore your answer cannot be b and that's why a works. So I took the point uh, plugged it in and it gave me my response there. Now, um, what I want to show you is my, my little shortcut here. Now, I just need you to remember this very simple concept here. Uh, positive slope, okay, positive, okay, positive slope here, or not positive slope, a positive number would give you a smile. Okay, if you're happy, if you're positive, uh, you will have a smile on your face, just like your equations will be. Let me show you what I mean in a second here. But let's do the negative. Negative, right? If you're negative on a certain day or you're feeling kind of in a negative mood, you would probably have a sad face. Okay, and this is how I help my students remember the parabola. Uh, if you have a positive number in front of the x squared, then you have a smile. If you have a negative number here, then it's a sad face. And the faces that I'm talking about uh, is just simply this guy right here you see that it has a nice little smile if it's happy okay that's we're talking about a positive slope and that's right look if you look at one-fourth one-fourth is positive 
Okay, therefore it's a smiley face. I know that my answer has to be A. Because if I do the negative, it shows me my sad face here. Okay, I don't have a negative number here. It's positive. Okay, so that's just a shortcut to kind of help you with that. And let's test that out on the next problem and uh, let's try the shortcut way. So again, I have y equals negative x squared. So I ask you to look at the number in front. That's a negative one, right? That's an invisible one. And negative, if we go back to our little rule here, negative means sad face. So I'm looking for a sad face. Um, here, I make my little face and that's a happy face. It's a big, smiley, happy face. It can't be a. C, this isn't even a face. This is not a parabola, so it can't be C. Obviously, D is not a parabola either, so we're left with B. And look, I have a very sad face here. Okay, that's the parabola is going down, and my answer is B. Now, again, this doesn't necessarily mean that the test makers won't do something like this, give you two guys that have parabolas, and then you have to decide. Well, then that's when you go back to the uh, way the teacher taught you and start plugging in points and doing all that. But again, that's my little shortcut there. Um, just need to remember for parabolas, okay, you would write a, a positive number gives you a smiley face and a negative number in front of the x squared gives you a sad face. Positive right here, that's what we did. And then a negative example would be this guy right here, that negative one.